All right. All right. And we are live. Hello, yes. Michelle. Hello, Holly. Hello, Sybil. Hello, hello. <laughs> we are. It hasn't quite come up yet. <laughs> there it is. Hanging out here today. Gonna do some bunny love stuff here. I love bunnies. And I also hate bunnies at the same time, depending on what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. <ya. laughs> Have them in our backyard, and sometimes they act like brats. But. Yeah, well, I we have them here all the time, but I have clover in my yard and they love it. Oh, so they go out and eat my clover out of the yard. And I, I enjoy that. I don't mind them at all. Hey, Cindy, good morning. So, mm. you know, uh, one of the things that you can do if you're playing along is uh, go out to uh application like unsplash and or pinterest or whatever you use and get some bunny pictures because we are doing bunnies um i think it helps to have a reference but that's me uh or you could just do a cartoony character bunny i mean it's up to you what kind of bunny you make i'm going to work with uh deco art media paint this morning i pulled my palette out here <clears throat> and I have fancy yellow medium green gold burnt umber phthalo turquoise a um, titanium buff and a uh, titanium white to start with what are you working with today shell I grabbed out a page from my last year's art journal habit book that has some extra pages in the back um, because I didn't ever finish last month, last year. <laughs> I got, I know something went out crazy and I think I missed about a week. But anyway, this is, this is a gel printed page. I'm going to work on this side because I had made that, that printing tool that was a basket weave. Yeah. And since it's coming up Easter and there's bunnies and baskets, I thought that would be a good one to work on. So I'm going to start with this kind of pink and orange patterned paper. I have some uh, paper scraps because this is just really too literal. I'm going to do some collage first, and then after that, we'll see what happens. Okay. That's my plan. I'm going to be using a Deco Art Americana decoupage because I've got some napkins here, and this is the one for napkins, you know, for light tissue paper. Yep. Yep. I've got lightweight paper, so that's what I'm going to use as medium. I love that stuff. It helps when you're doing something really thin, you know, normally I use a, a gel type of a medium, but yeah, when you got super thin, super fragile papers, like this really old paper that yeah. says round, round rabbit roundups on it, <laughs> <laughs> something to draw. I, it was a, it, I had the other part where there was like little drawings of bunnies, but I can't find it. Yeah. I had okay. it. It's from this page. But anyway, I'm going to use this, but I'm probably just going to tear some of it down. But, um, hi, Renny. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Marie. Hello, Becky. Hello, Laura. We're so glad you guys are hanging out with us today. Yes. Yeah, so um, I'm just getting a base down here. Um, I want to get some of those spring tones on my page. Um, and so I'm working towards that somewhat. If you have to. I know you don't want to. Uh, I like spring. It's just not here yet. I I do have some daffodils out there. But, um, yeah, they're not, they're not holding up real well because we've had wind and rain and, you know, all kinds of junk. But it will get to spring soon enough, right? It'll get there. Yeah. It always does. So it's, I'm just brightening up my grassy area with this yellow. And I'll add some of the darker tones towards the edges. 
I think it's really kind of past spring here already. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you a, guys get warm in a hurry. We do. It's it's nice and toasty out. So, oh, I forgot to turn my secondary camera on. Uh oh. Silly me, this is handmade paper. I just really think it's cool, but I think it's probably too big for this page. Hey, Carla. I don't know. Maybe I'll just use the skinnier part. Yeah. This page is so linear. Linear. I don't know. I'm just blocking in an area where I want to kind of position the bunny here. So I'm lightening that up because... You know, if you're putting some other paper down, uh, that stuff will come through. And I'm using these. These are those brushes that uh, were sent to me from Dynasty. Um, they're really nice brushes. And, and they I think they're from Thailand and the parts are assembled in the U.S. But um, I thought I'd drag them out today and give them a good good try. I need some more titanium. And I'm not really I'm not really rinsing my brush. I'm just kind of cleaning it off cuz I don't mind that these colors blend a bit. Um I kind of want some of that. What else do I have here? It kind of gives it a little bit of texture and then the color comes in from the back then and then I need a good old glue brush because I cut some tissue paper and I've got my matte gel medium hi Sybil hi Debbie bunnies in New York have smaller ears well isn't that interesting your bodies look different depending on where you are. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's why I said hair today, but the, the, you know, because yeah. there's all kinds of rabbits, all kinds of them. That most definitely is. Let's see. Let's get some of these napkins going here. What do we and do? my bunny, you know, this is not meant to be a realistic drawing. It's it's more of a caricature. Um. See where I want to go with this. I think I will put him towards the bottom. I think I'll put him towards the bottom. And that being said, I think I want to put some backer on this, brighten it up a little bit. I will be painting over the tissue paper, but I don't want it so dark to start with. So I'm just, this is a, a craft color tissue paper. And I'm putting some white, <laughs> muddy white, because I have my dirty brush on the back mm -hmm. of this. And then I'm going to put down my gel medium. And my bunny body. I like the look of translucent layers on top of each other sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting this napkin, which becomes very translucent, over some text that's on here and smoothing it down. And then the text that I've already glued on comes through. Yeah, and it just looks cool, I think. <laughs> yeah. like, so 
these are flowers and I'm cutting them out using a water brush which helps me tear them out very organically and um, that makes them blend into the page better ah wascoey wabbit Renny says yes very wascoey <laughs> Uh, be a to be a to be a. <laughs> I just like having the, all this variety on my backgrounds. I don't know why. Probably because I'm a collage artist. I just think it looks neat. <laughs> so putting all these transparent layers one on top of another makes me happy. Yep. Whatever just makes you happy. happy. We're all about being happy right now. Yes. Please, let's be happy. <laughs> Trying my best. Yep. Okay, so I've got a general bunny shape there. And that's just tissue paper. And then I'm going to start painting out my bunny. But i got to dry this. Cottontails have smaller ears. Okay. Didn't know that. My uh, friend used to raise bunnies. You know how you go to the uh, fair and they have all kinds of uh, critters that people have raised? Yeah. Let's see. Do I want no. Like the 4-H kids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I never really did it, but a lot of my cousins raised a pig or a sheep or something and then sold them at the fair. Yeah. Coming down too far. Scissors. And then they were always sad because <laughs> you know where those are going. Dude. Yeah. Place. <laughs> well, they are farmers, so. Yeah. That's like only you got to get used to it sometime, right? Yeah. I, I never wanted to do it because no. of that. Made me sad, we, so. we always had creatures, you know, because um, you know how do you go this time of year and they've got all the little chicks that have come out of the incubator and oh yeah yeah they're so yeah cute. so you know when i was a kid everybody got their little chicks at uh easter time and i was just like everybody else but um our chicks we have cold hard winters here and so it was difficult for them to survive and we didn't have an incubator or anything. So um, as I got older, I got smarter. And I decided I was going to get the biggest, healthiest looking chick they had in there. Yeah. So I'd, I'd bring them home. Well, um, it got to the point where I was not getting chickens anymore. I was getting ducks and geese because they were bigger. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'd have ducks and geese and they'd follow me all around the yard. It was fun. We had a, a old car top carrier that was mesh. And so it was kind of like a cage and I could move it around the yard and um, get them fresh grass every day. So I'd put them under the car top carrier and just move them to a new spot. My mom hatched uh, eggs in her classroom. She had an incubator in her classroom. But, you know, oh, classroom these days, they don't do that kind of stuff anymore. But yeah, uh, you hatch all the babies and then take them back out to the farm. They were, you know, from the farms they were in our surrounding. We lived in town, but there was surrounding farms. And she would get duck eggs or chicken eggs or whatever they were ha having and hatch them. And then also she would get, uh, we had, sh had sheep places around where we lived and she would get the bummer a bummer lamb 
can bring it home. And I used to feed the bummer lambs pet milk or, you know, condensed milk uh -huh. out of a, pe a glass Pepsi bottle with the big nipple on it. <laughs> oh. Then I walk it around the neighborhood and stuff like that. So I lived in town, but I would have various experiences like that. And then all my cousins and people like that lived in on farms, but in other, in a different state, but I would visit. Yeah. Are you reading any of the stuff in the chat? It's really, it's really fun this morning. Holly says, don't you mean hoppy? Let's be hoppy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, that's what we meant. Hoppy. That's yeah, we meant. exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with my collage now, but it's yeah, dark. Yeah. Um, I'm going to dry it a little bit and I'm going to lighten up some areas with some gesso or something because it's still just, it doesn't look pastel enough, you know. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll wait until, maybe that will be a later step. I gotta get my bunny on there, some sort of bunny. Yeah. So I guess they're talking about um Carla had bunnies and duckies and chickies and all of that too. Um he they'd take them out to the family farm later. Yeah. Uh we had a, a place for the ducks at the local um park. It was all caged in. It, it was called the duck pond. <laughs> and so when the ducks got big enough, I'd release them out on the duck pond because people would come and feed them. Aww. And so it was nice to have, you know, ducks for the, for the families to come and watch and feed. And uh, the geese I took out to my friend's farm because he had a nice pond and the geese kind of act as watchdogs for the farm, you know? Oh yeah. <laughs> geese can be really obnoxious. Oh yes, they can. But you know, you don't have to worry about other critters coming in and taking over when you have geese around because the geese will drive them off. A, a nice big goose can break your leg or arm. Yeah. They so feel like doing so. <laughs> Debbie says one year the chicks that they got were ended up being bantam roosters. Oh, fun. And they would t attack everyone's feet. Bantam roosters are hilarious. They're like small and they just think they're big. Kind of like those little yappy dogs, you know? They are. They they really yeah, we had we had bannies um and they would fly up in the trees. I think I told you guys about the ones that the rooster that wouldn't come in. You know, because I'd, I'd go out and close up the shed at night and the stupid rooster wouldn't come in and he froze to death up in the tree. Oh. Because he was he was a stubborn cuss. Let's see. I guess I'll just draw right on here. Let's see what I can draw. I think I'm going to draw hair. Because they amuse me with their big funny ears. I can make something that looks like a hair. I'm trying oh. to trying to get my brush as dry as I can because I want to dry brush some of these colors in here, you know, to give it the te texture of fur. So I use a, a very dry brush to get that textural. I don't know if you guys can really see that. It gives it more of a textural element here. Hi, Andrea. This is going to be drawing very well over this. And let's see. I need to put it. I need to put some detail in here just so I have a reference of where I am. So I'm going to get this other um, small round brush. And I need to figure out where his eye is going to be. They're kind of uh, almond shaped eyes on a bunny. Stuff isn't dry enough, and I'm having a hard time drawing over it. I 
And you'll switch to a Stabilo instead of a regular pencil. And I'll end up with all that extra black. That's the only thing. Okay. Come in. Just be a good girl. Be a good girl. Lay down. Nope. Nope. You gotta be a good girl. <laughs> And one of one of the keys is you know don't dip your brush in water if you want to do the dry brush. You just want to go back to your paint, clean some of the paint off. Okay, you left the door open. Uh-oh. Now I can hear noises. They've kind of got their shoulders up here in this area. I think I need to add some kind of peachy color to this. Uh oh, I'm in the center of the screen. All right, so there's a face. And then we've got a little bit of a chest here. Ah, see, I'm tearing my napkin because it's not dry. Oh, he has a big hopper, sort of a leg here. Hopper, a hopper leg. Yeah, he's got a hop, you know. Yeah, I gotta turn my ah. What do kids even know about? Easter parades and bunny hops and all that kind of stuff. Oh, Are they they still a thing? I mean, there's, you know, Easter egg hunts. I thought that was cute what you were saying last week. You should tell everyone else about how you're charging. Are you mean them. about the, the having them, putting them on the windows? Yeah, that's a great idea. I love that. Yeah, the, the local area, they were having a Easter egg hunt, but they what they were having the kids do was draw Easter eggs and post them on their front windows. And then the parents were driving the kids around and they were making note of uh, how many Easter eggs they found in window displays, which I, I thought was pretty so cool. Because the kids are stuck at home and they're bored. I don't know. Mine are having a lot of fun. Right. <laughs> they're they're doing their schoolwork, but they're um, you know they get the afternoon off to play. Uh huh. So you know they're in the pool and they're riding their uh, bikes up and down the street. You know they they can still distance and ride their bikes and so they're they're getting to do some stuff. But it's not like they can go and play with the kids next door. No. Mm -hmm. But luckily, there's three of them in the family down south. So they've got people that they can play games with and do things with just in their own family. I feel sorry for the kids that are 
only kids. Yeah. Okay, that's somewhat a bunny there, I think. Looks like a bunny-ish sort of bunny. Trying to lighten his muzzle a little bit. This goes in. I don't know, I'm having trouble right there with it. And then of course there's gotta be something for him to stand on, you know. How I feel about that. Yeah. I get very grumpy when there's nothing to stand on. <laughs> it's just not right. I'm thinking that the sunlight is coming this way on this, so I'm trying to reflect that with the bunny ears here. So it looks like we got 24 in the chat. That's great. For a Monday, that's great. That's awesome. When do I ever? Eh, you're having fun. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be doing this with Stabilo because you know what will happen when it gets wet. It's going to yeah. get wacko. But oh well, I guess I'll figure it out when I figure it out. Like you do. Like you do. Mm -hmm. Just wanted something else to be in the scene with my bunny. Yeah. Poor bunny was all alone. I need to get out some. All right. right. Here. I need to dry his eyeball because his eyeball is very wet. Well, you don't want wet eyeballs. No. <laughs> Stimble says that's because we're all home and bored. Yeah, pretty bored. It's just kind of funny how that works because I'm not a big goer out or anyway, but then when I, when I have to stay home, I get really weird. <laughs> Just funny like that. Okay, I need a paintbrush of some sort. Maybe just maybe just this kind. I don't know. I want to push the background back and the foreground forward. Like it like that. And I don't know. I want it to be a warm color. I'm gonna use a little gesso. Just a little. And I got out some maple yellow and some, oh, come on, some phenacridone, nickel hazel gold, to try to make some type of a warmer color, you know? Yeah. I'm grabbing a few other colors. I've got the uh, Viridian, the Thalo green yellow. I'm going to add a little more green gold. Because what I want to do is down here, you know, he's nestled into the grasses here. Or at least that's the image that I want to portray. And I want to 
do some kind of division right in here. So I'm going to grab some more of that um, bluish tone, which is the thalo turquoise. And I'm going to I am going to have to clean some of this paint off of here. No, I don't want that. Okay. Maybe I can take that and put this on it. Just trying to dry it down as best I can. So I'm going to get a little bit of this little turquoise and I want to define some of the background here with that. That's a little bit much. Sort of a horizon line there. Darken it up. Yep, you got to have something to stand on. Horizon lines are good. Because <laughs> if there isn't something to stand on, what are you standing on? I don't know. It's just my thing. I'm a little crazy. So now I can add that grassiness here. Okay, I'm headed now. Let's see. I don't know. Where are you headed? No, I need to get a highlight in his eye for sure. Because it's not flat, it's curved. Yes, they are curved. In fact, they're kind of protruding. Yeah. Definitely. And you know, you can go back to your reference. You see how it's really light around the eye here? So I need to portray some of that. Get to where my plants are. Things have gotten weird. Weird. So that's a little bit better for the eye. 
He also has some of that uh, lightness under his nose. Down in this area where his whiskers live. He's got to have whiskers. Thanks, Sybil. Yep, they got to have whiskers. How are we doing time-wise? It is 11. We've been on for half an hour. Okay. That's not much. You got lots of times. Got lots of times. Let's see. I need to give them some clover to chew on. <laughs> well, if they like clover, then yes. I have no idea what the bunnies eat in my backyard because there's just desert plants out there. Well, except for when there's little shoots and then they come and that's when I get mad. If I try to plant something and then they come and eat it, that's when I get mad. <laughs> Yeah. Like, don't eat the thing I just planted. The deer are bad here for that. Yeah. We don't have deer. We have javelina. But they can't get in the yard. If you put something out front, they'll get it. But my first year I moved here, I thought it would be so cute to have these colorful pots in the front of the house. Yeah. And I bought some pots and I put some annual flowers in them. And stupid javelinas came and ate them. Like the day, the next day, the day that I put them in, you know. Oh, wow. That evening they came and ate all the flowers and took over the pots. Like you stupid javelinas. <laughs> Went to all that trouble, tried to make it cute, and then look what you did. So then after that, I planted cactuses. Uh Good plan. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm adding a little bit of uh, raw sienna to this too. Pearl River, the Chinese discount store. I don't think. I don't know. <laughs> don't know about discount stores in New York. I'm thinking I want, I need to do a mix of this brown and sienna. Get some of that down into the body. He's got kind of a, kind of a texture, a pattern, you know, in, in his fur, he's got kind of a pattern to um, hide in the bushes with. So he blends into the background here. It's a smart technique to stay away from people and, and predators. <laughs> Camouflage. Yeah, we all need to be camouflaged right now. The six foot away thing, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not even here. I'm not. I'm not here. Can I'm I just a pigment of your imagination. Me? Oops, that was a bit much. I made some masks and I wore them out when I had to go to the grocery store because we were running out of everything. Yeah. And there was a lady there. She's like, where did you get your mask? I said, well, I sewed it. She's like, oh, I don't know how to sew. And I don't have a sewing machine. She says, my husband's 72. And I'm, I mean, I'm 72 and my husband's 77. And I'm just not sure if I should wear a mask. I don't know where to get one. All this different stuff. And she was kind of panicking. And she spent a lot of time talking to me. Probably because she hadn't seen anybody in a while except for her husband. Yeah. Which gets a little bit boring. 
So she followed me back to my house after grocery shopping, and I gave her a mask. She well, that was very me. kind of you. Well, I made 16 of them, and I sent four of them to my kid in California. And then That's the a good plan. Here, and I mean, we're really not going out. I'm going to have to go to the pharmacy today, and I'll probably just use the drive up. So, I mean, we really, we are really trying to stay in. We don't yeah. go. In. Well, I've seen masks made all, all, out of all kinds of things. You know, bandanas, T-shirts, uh, coffee filters. Um, yep. You know, there's no reason. And the thing that shocked me is I went to the store because I had to mail a package and the sub post station is right there. So I could mail a package when I went to the store and I needed to pick up a couple of things for my husband. But I had my gloves on. I had my mask on. Um, I was prepared. There were only like four people in the whole stinking store that had a mask on. Yeah, there wasn't a lot. There was probably maybe 25% of the people, and there was probably, I don't know, 100 people in the store when I went. And, I mean, they were not wearing masks. And I, I got to tell you guys, we got to protect each other. You know, it isn't just for you. It's to protect other people, too. So, because mm -hmm. we don't know what we have. I mean, I think I'm safe, but I don't, I would I would feel so bad if I gave somebody else something. Yeah. Okay, I think I got the background done pretty much. Looks pretty cool. Wasted a bunch of paint. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much paint here left. I'll make this part up here even more yellow a little bit, I think. And I can make this part down here a little bit more. Quinacridone. I like that yellow color. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this yellow color. Uh, it's a good color. I yeah. mean, it really it really blends things together, and it's so transparent. Um, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely paint. All right. I don't like these dark lines here. I need to soften those a bit. It needs to be more painterly and less. Linear here. Painterly, schmainterly. Go for the illustration. <laughs> Every time I try to be painterly, I end up illustrating anyway, so I might as well just give it up. Well, I want, let's see, I want to, I want to do a clover for this little critter because he's hungry. <laughs> he's very, very hungry. So let's see, I need to do a. I kind of want to put something on. Let's see. What have I got? What have I got around here? Um, shall I go with crayons? Add a little of the green and gold. Whoa. Crash bang. The green in there also. Well, I can even see there, there was a, oh man, <laughs> just noticed that. This post office is trying to make me mad. Uh-oh. I mailed like 36 envelopes the other day, uh, mailing out things that I owed people and wanted to send to people, and this is one of them, I'll show you, but I had... I have something in there that's not flat. So I went and I had the guy put this, put them through for me and he hand stamped them. Yeah. And he put stamps on for me. The guy, not me. It wasn't me. He put stamps on all of them. 
Yeah. You can even see like right there that there, there used to be a stamp on there. Right. Mm -hmm. It says return for postage. So now I have to go back to the post office and mail this again because there's not a stamp on it. It wasn't wow. even doing it. It was, oh. they're just being jerks. I'm not the one who mailed it like that. And yeah. I don't know what happened. And you can see that there was a stamp on it, and I watched him put stamps on all of them. So I have, cannot figure out what happened. But that means did I have to. Did he give you a receipt for your stamps? Yeah, but I mean, it's like, you know, 36 of them or something. I mean, it's a lot of stamps because he yeah. he hand stamped and hand canceled every single one of my of, them, of my envelopes. Well, hopefully he's the one that's working when you go back. I know. It's not so much that I have to, I mean, okay, it's a stamp, whatever, right? But I ha that means I have to go out of the house again. Right. Which is not what I want to be doing right now. Because nope. I've got too many people here who are at risk for me to be bringing back some virus. Cindy says she got her shell. Good, good, good. I tried to, to get a bunch of them done because I wasn't making art. So I figured I would sit in my studio and make packages. <laughs> so I haven't been making art very much because I just can't seem to get going. Just, yeah, I've been watching a heck of a lot of videos, just, you know, not art videos, but just mindless stuff on the boob tube just to um, think about something else. Yeah. That's what I want to do, think about something else. I think that's what we all want to do. I just don't feel creative because... Because that stupid TV is on all the time. Yeah. All right. Get some of this blended. I'm going to get some other color in there now. Let's see. I want some, some pink. Pinky, pink, pink. On the insides of these a little bit. I mean, they're already pink, but I just want them a little bit pinkier. Oh, dang it. Went a little crazy. Like a blush Mix color. A little bit of that. Um, what is it? Titanium buff and the uh, burnt umber to get a, another shade, you know, as long as you're using colors that are in your picture and you're mixing and blending, they all work together quite well. So I am just mixing some of those and adding some of that to get a, a variation on the theme here. And I want to use that same color. Um, the bunny has uh, lashes too, you know, so I need to do some bunny lashes on here. Just looking at references and, and getting an idea. And I want more texture up here. So I'm going to go back and get some of that black and brown and mix together and get another shade. And I'm going to, let's see, I think I need... where his whiskers are. A 
little bit of dotting. I gotta say, these brushes are working pretty good. I like them. Yeah, I wanna. Get a little of that black brown. Blend it out on the inside of the ear here. A little where it folds over. furriness down inside of the ear here. Oops. Okay. A bit much there. Thanks, Holly. Okay. I need to dry this down a little bit. Got a lot of wet paint here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to seal this layer in because I'm going to put some other stuff over the top of this. And I'm kind of happy with what I got here. So what I do with my matte medium. I know it's here somewhere. I just used it. There it is. So this is just acting as a sealing layer. 
sometimes when you get to a certain point, you don't want to destroy what's underneath. You want to be able to wipe back. And this is how you do it. And I'm going to do, I'm going to put some words on here. And you know me and words, I mess them up more times than not. <laughs> I get distracted. Squirrel. Oh, bunny. Bunny. Okay, what I need is some bright, bright light. Ah. Okay. Thanks, Debbie. Hey, Peggy. Yeah, one day at a time is all we can do, right? I'm going to grab some markers. Get my palette out of the way here. grab some pet pens. Because I need to do a little shading around here. I think this is dry enough now. I need a wet wipe. That's a little bit Wrong. If you wet your finger when you work with these, they blend out a lot better. Get a little contour to our bunny here. tail end. That's a butt. A bunny butt. Yeah. And under the chin a little bit here. And then switch colors. Get out this See if this is too bright. Get this bright yellow. Might be. Let's see. Oh, I like. 
like that brightness. Gets the reflection of the meadow here. So get some brown, brown, hue, <laughs> oh yeah, get some brown, you know, because my bunny has got gray and brown and all kinds of colors. And I need ink. I need some, let's see, what color do I want to use? Let's use some, let's use some blue. Let's use some of this manganese blue. A little depth with that. Now I want a little more darkness, so I'll go back and grab the cobalt, and not quite so heavy. Just coming in from the edge with that cobalt. your eye in a little bit and then I need a stamp I need a stamp um, let me go to my stamp board quickly
have a whole bunch of these little stamps. I like this one. Because it could be up here on the knoll. Yeah. Get a little bit of texture and edging with that. And then I should have some grassy things here. Yeah. Got some grassy things. I need a green. putting this stuff in to get some texture down. Don't really want it to stand out a lot, but I want the texture from it. Um, there's some nice grasses. Don't think that's going to show up in that color. So let's do a library. Let's do a library green. Okay, that's blue. That's green. All right, so I think I'm ready to start writing here. Because we've got about enough time to do that. Uh, bye, Barb. Have a great day. Snakes? Yeah. Yuck. I don't like spiders and snakes. <laughs> and I think I want a white Posca. I want I think white. Do I want? Okay. I don't know. I want white. Not a lot of white on there. the yellow looks. Yellow might be good. Oh, I can add white because I can always add some highlights in white. Highlights are good. So... I'm going to get quiet now because I'm going to be writing. Debbie <laughs> <laughs> um, says you can understand that. Yeah, Debbie. No spiders and snakes. I think I'm done. Yeah, yeah. They are talking about snakes. Holly's talking about snakes when she moved to Arizona. Yeah, we have, we have rattlesnakes here. We don't really like those too much. They're not fun. I really just need to darken up here. 
here, but it just feels too light. That's a good dark color. Purple. Can't can't go wrong with purple. I don't know. It's kind of long and skinny and funny looking, but I think it turned out. Peggy says she has a yard full of crows. Oh my. <laughs> Thank you, Peggy. Thank you, Debbie. Maybe just a little bit more green. And if I just go direct to the paper, I can get a little bit more of this bright springy green. Put my crayon on there. I didn't want to overdo it, but I do want some spring green on there because it just seems like there should be. Right. Maybe a little bit of this brown down here a little bit. Just to get it going. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's cute. Different. And it's a bunny. It's a bunny. For sure. I don't think anybody can mistake that for anything else. It's not a dog. Not a dog. Not a cat. I'll just sit here and mess around. I'm going to mess around too much. So, yeah, I'm just finishing up my quote and then we can go. It says If you find someone who makes you smile, who checks up on you often to see if you're okay, who watches out for you and wants the very best for you, don't let them go. Keep them close and don't take them for granted. People like that are hard to find. Watership down. Did any of you guys ever read any of the Red Wall books, where all the characters—it's about—it's about like wars and different things, and almost kind of historical. But um, all the characters are animals, including bunnies and uh, you know just different types of rodents and ferrets and and. All that type of like little furry creatures. Sounds fun. fun books. Yeah, there's a whole series. There's probably probably 15 or 18 books, and uh, my boys were reading them, and so I read them. This, of course, was when they were younger. It's, they're more like four, 15 year olds, 13 to 15, maybe age range. But two of my boys read the whole series. I think the other one was like. Yeah, I'm not going to read. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like to buy books for my uh, grandkids because they enjoy reading. And so they'll, they'll send me a list every once in a while of books that they want to, to get. Rennie says she's watching all the quails running around. We have a bunch of quails, too. Oh, and they're so fun. Quails would be fun to do a picture of. Yeah. 
I've done quails before in my art journal at some point. So there it is. I'm going to call that done. Cute. Funny art. Funny art. So thanks for joining us, guys. This was a good day. Yep. And I will be back on Thursday to do the some art inspired by the um, mood board for April. Right. Bring flowers bring me flowers. Right. So inspiration. If you guys want to get stuff, you know, if you're going to join us and do the mood board, um, go to Art Joy Sharing and find the graphic. Yep. And get your stuff ready. Long. So, thanks, guys. Appreciate you all. Yes. Don't forget to give a don't forget to give a thumbs up on your way out. On your way out, yeah. <laughs> and make we'll some money. We'll see you on Thursday, maybe, huh? Bye. Yeah, see you on Thursday. Bye bye.